If we think of the uh, traditional plagues of human beings over the last thousand or more years, we realize that some of them came into the human, some of these infections came into the human population at the time we started more intensive animal agriculture, or when people came together in communities. Uh, measles virus is a case in point. Uh, measles virus is really very similar to rinderpest virus, a uh, uh, disease of cattle which has now hopefully been eliminated worldwide. We celebrated that several years back. The increasing bringing together of animals in larger numbers together with human beings, as is now happening in Africa as we seek to develop that resource for food production does pose uh, threats because uh, there are a number of diseases in uh, wildlife, uh, some of which we know, some of which we don't know, which could be potentially amplified by the human livestock interaction. And that's why it's particularly important for ILRI and for various state and national governments to be aware of this and to be probing and testing for it. And of course, with modern technology, with uh, genomics and PCR type techniques, we can move very quickly on that. And that minimizes a potential threat, which could be a global threat because these things can go globally very rapidly if they happen to jump from animals to humans and then spread rapidly between humans. We haven't seen that uh, recently, except of course in the well-known instance of the influenza A viruses where components do come in from wildlife or from domestic animals to infect us and uh, the 2009 H1 influenza outbreak was a case in point. But it's something we need to be constantly watching as we realise that there are many more infections out there that could potentially damage us. Uh, the Ebola outbreak was a case in point. This is an, a virus which comes across from bats into primates and or, hu other hum or humans and, uh, and, as we know, can cause devastating uh, epidemics.